Good morning, students. Today we will discuss about chemistry topic that is BSc PR theory. That is BSc PR theory. So BSc PR theory. So BSc PR theory. Valency shell. Valency. Shell electron pay valency shell electron pay repulsion repulsion theory. So valency shell electron pay repulsion theory BSC PR theory. So we will discuss about the important postures of this theory. We will discuss about the important postures. One by one we will discuss about the important postures here. So first one is first one is first postures is shape of the molecule shape of the molecule is determined by bond base bond base as well as lone base bond base and lone base which are present in the valency shell bond base as well as lone base for example for example if you take H2O molecule so H2O molecule in valency shell central atom is but here one condition is there that is central atom so central atom oxygen this is the structure of water molecule. So here, so oxygen atomic number is A, electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. So here, two electrons are there. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So when oxygen hydrogen is bonded for this, hydrogen 1 electron, hydrogen 1 electron here, these two are considered as bond base, these two are considered as lone base. So in valence shell, after formation of water molecule, in H2O, two lone base are there, two bond base are there. Two lone base as well as two bond base are there. Therefore, the shape of the molecule is determined by these lone base and bond base in the in the outermost orbit, in the outermost orbit. Therefore, now these lone base and bond base will determine the shape of water molecule. So this is one first postulate. So shape of the molecule is determined by lone base as well as bond base present in the valency shell of the central atom. Valency shell of the central atom. Second one, second point is, second point is here, here, if it has, if central atom having all bond base, for example, methane, if you take methane, so methane structure is like this, all are bond base. So central atom having bond base only. So carbon atomic number is 6, 2s2, 2p2. So here only bond base. If bond base are there, only bond base are present in the valence shell. The shape of the molecule is regular shape. Regular shape. So but in case of water molecule, water molecule, so oxygen having two bond base and two lone base. Therefore, two bond base and two lone base. Therefore, this shape is not regular, irregular shape. So here, irregular shape. Irregular shape. So here, regular shape and irregular shape. So, this is the first point and this is the second point. First point is, Shape of the molecule is determined by bond base as well as lone base present in the 
valency shell of the center atom valency shell of the central atom second one is lone pairs and bond pairs also determine the shape of the unit and also if central atom having only bond pairs it has regular shape only bond pairs so if it has bond pairs and lone pairs it has irregular shape it has irregular shape and third one third one is third point is important point low pairs occupies more space than the bond pairs around the central atom here these are low pairs therefore these occupies more space so low pair occupies low pair occupies occupies more space so more space here but bond pairs occupies less space around the central atom so this is also one of the important point so lone pair occupies because here this much of space is occupied by the lone pair but bond pairs are occupies very less less around the central atom bond pairs occupies less space than the lone pairs so means lone pairs are occupies more space around the central atom so after that after that third point fourth point is fourth point is fourth point is low pairs and orientation the point is remember as orientation so what is orientation this is oxygen hydrogen here water molecule low pairs and bond pairs oriented around the central atom as as the repulsion between them are minimum for example if the low pairs are occupied in this space if they are having more repulsion means they are not arranged in this orientation they are arranged like this in this orientation they are arranged low pairs and bond pairs oriented around the central atom as repulsion between them are minimum so in which direction repulsion between them are minimum in this direction they are oriented oriented for example this is one direction this is one direction so here if the low pairs are occupied in this direction repulsion is more so if the low pairs are occupied in this direction repulsion is less therefore this direction they won't follow so in this direction they are arranged so what is here the low pairs and bond pairs around the central atom oriented a direction oriented around the central atom the repulsions between them are minimum repulsions between them are minimum so in which direction they are having the less less repulsions in the direction they are arranged they are arranged this is also one of the important point after that so i will give the statement for this phosphate lone pairs and bond pairs oriented around the central atom as the repulsions between them are minimum in which direction the repulsions are minimum in this direction they are oriented oriented after that this is fourth point fifth point is fifth point is fifth point is here so fifth point is the repulsions between the bond pairs and central atom the magnitude of the bonded atoms the magnitude of the repulsions depends upon the 
depends upon the electronegativity electronegativity of the central atom and bonded atoms so this is fifth point what is fifth point for example here i will give i will take one example here so here this is oxygen and this is ammonia ammonia so the electronegativity of oxygen is more than nitrogen so hydrogen electron is here hydrogen here hydrogen here hydrogen here hydrogen here also hydrogen therefore here the electronegativity of oxygen is 3.5 the electronegativity of nitrogen is 3 so among these two which one having more electronegativity oxygen having more electronegativity but hydrogen here say here say therefore the repulsion magnitude of repulsion the magnitude of repulsion forces depends upon the electronegativity difference of central atom and bonded atom for example here electronegativity difference is difference is 3.5 minus 2.7 hydrogen 2.1 So, 2.1. So the difference is more here. Here the difference is less. So 3 minus 2.1. So the difference is less here. Difference is more here. So therefore the repulsions are depends upon the electronegativity difference of central atom and bonded atoms. If the difference is more, repulsions are also more. Here central atom electronegativity and bonded atom electronegativity we are consider the difference. So the difference is more, repulsion is also more. After that six point, six point. So here six point is the repulsions between various bond pairs and lone pairs as follows. Repulsive forces order. Repulsive force order. Order. Lone pair, lone pair is greater than lone pair, bond pair is greater than bond pair, bond pair. So lone pair, lone pair repulsions are more than lone pair, bond pair. LP, LP is greater than LP, LP is greater than BP, BP. So in case of bonds. Repulsion forces in case of bonds, triple bond is greater than double bond is greater than single bond. So in case of triple bond, repulsion forces are more. This is one of the important point. If the bonds are increases, repulsion forces also increases. So after that, I will give one more example means. This is also triple bond means nitrogen, oxygen. So N triple bond N, oxygen double bond FF like this. These are the triple bond examples. So after that, after that, I will give one more statement. A last constant is there. The last constant is here. If you are lone pair repulsions are more than lone. Lone pair bond pairs. Sometimes we having lone pair bond pair and bond pair bond pair. So in case of triple bond, double bond, single bond, and dative bond, dative bond. So dative bond means like this. These all are considered as single bond only. These all are considered as single bond only. This is about the last phosphates of the VSCPR. Theory. So VSC PR theory means balanced initial electron pair repulsion theory. This is explain about the shapes and geometry of the molecules. So molecules. First question is shape of the molecule is determined by number of bond pairs as well as number of lone pairs around the central atom. This is first point. Second point is if central atom having only bond pairs, it has regular shape. 
If central atom having low phase as well as a bond phase, it has irregular shape. Fourth point: low phase occupies more space than bond phase around the central atom. Around the central atom. Next, fifth point: orientation. Low phase and bond phase orientation direction is oriented around the central atom as the repulsions between them are. Minimum, minimum. In this direction, they are arranged. After that, the magnitude of the repulsion, the magnitude of the repulsion depends on the electronegativity difference of bond phase, bonded atoms, and central atom. After that, repulsive forces in various electron phase as follows. LP LP lone pair lone pair is greater than lone pair bond pair is greater than bond pair bond pair and bonds triple bond is greater than double bond is greater than single bond last phosphate last phosphate is last phosphate is here if so the triple bond is has more more Repulsion than double bond and lone pair, lone pair, lone pair, lone pair is there. Repulsion is more than lone pair bond pair. If bond pair bond pair is there, repulsion is less when compared to lone pair lone pair. So after that, last constant is triple bond is considered as only single bond. Double bond is also considered as single bond and double bond is also considered as single bond. This is about the postures of BSC PR theory.